uh, yeah, we're gonna do a new run. And today we're gonna start uh, the new run as uh, a Norwegian count, but not uh, a random count, actually. So uh, let's uh, jump into the game. Let's uh, start a new game. We're gonna play in 867. And we're gonna start in uh, Norway. So we will click on the play any ruler. And um, let's pick our ruler to make a glorious kingdom in Scandinavia. We are going to play as this guy. Chieftain Harald Fairhair of Vestfold. And this is not just a normal guy. He is, according to the history books, and they are almost sure about it. Not, not everything is set in stone. But he is the guy who was the first king of Norway. He was considered the first king of, as, uh, of Norway. And um, yeah, we are going to try to uh, redo this. We're not going to follow his path. What is on the Wikipedia and stuff. We are going to do it on our own way. But uh, let's um, do an Iron Man run here. So let's uh, change the rules to Iron Man. Achievements are enabled. And uh, let's jump into the game. Harald is definitely in the top 10 of best counts. Yeah. And he should be. Yes, Eterno, it's very meta. So, uh, let's uh, see. I Do I have a save for this? Oh, yeah, here. Let's override the Norway one. Because I was testing this out. And this guy... Is now 17 years old. He is just of age. And he's already married. With Rugenhild. I don't know who that is. But um, let's do some history before we start. My father... Afdan Gudrulsson. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. He was the guy who actually inherited uh, a lot of lands before our son. And when he died, um, I think these became independent, some over here. And now we have to try to retake it again. Uh, my father died actually by... what was it again? It was the, the, the Randsfjord. I don't know where it is. Maybe this, this fjord or this one or... Maybe some Norwegian guy in the chat knows where the Randsfjord is. But uh, he died on it while the ice was uh, breaking under him him and his troops and they all drowned. And I think I was 10 years old when my father died, according to the, to the history books. Now we are 17. So uh, yeah, we will try to uh, form the Kingdom of Norway again. In history, I think in 872 or something... There was a battle of uh, Stavanger. Now, my topography is not the best, but I think it's somewhere over here. I don't remember. Well, that's a pity. But that was the uh, decisive battle where he would become king. So, But uh, we're going to do with a different, so it doesn't matter. And uh, let's see, you can go Canada if you are a Viking in this game. Because I know they got Canada around the year 1000. <laughs> yep, maybe, but um, Iceland is just discovered by the Norse in 867. So uh, let's see what we can do with Iceland first. Well, let's take a look at our character. Uh, we do have the Quick Trade. We also have the Novus Hunter, so we should go on, uh, uh, on, on a hunt more time, so we can increase this stat. We also have a good skilled Tactician. The downside is we are brave. So we are not gonna we are not gonna lead any uh, any armies because we will have a double chance of dying. This virtues to our faith, which is the Asutra Asatru, which is just the Norse faith. We are so calm and ambitious. Oh yes, we are ambitious. I tell you that. Let's uh, choose a lifestyle first. We do have a level three skilled tactician, and we will go with Marshall. Uh, I think at the beginning, when we are going to conquer a lot of land, we need, we need to conquer really quickly. The AI is going to be devastating otherwise. We need to conquer. And I guess we are going to start with the uh, authority focus here to get some control. And uh, Unknown South Jutlander, thank you for uh, your subscription. So we are going to go for this one. We get more control growth, it's going to be super handy. So let's uh, pick this one as a start. I think I'm going to go with the Overseer uh, trade first. We don't have to do this one because we are not going to fight ourselves. Uh, we don't have that many men at arms at the beginning. I think Overseer 
is uh, the best thing to do for more control. So I'm going to go that way. Uh, we do have an heir. Now, it's not my son. We don't have a son. That's my uncle. So the brother of my father is still alive. And according to the history, my uncle took care of our holdings until I was of age. And that's all I know. So uh, thank you for uh, reigning, my uncle. But uh, we don't need you anymore. So you can go away. Well, not really. I think I want to keep him. Well, maybe not. I mean, he's terrible. <laughs> he's really terrible. And uh, he has a son. He is. Uh, that's my cousin, of course, then. And he's also my steward. He's 20 years old. But uh, maybe we'll replace him. Uh, let's see. So we own two counties at the start. We have Tunsborg and Oslo. Oslo. Oslo Sislar. I guess. Uh, we don't have any buildings. We are tribal, of course. So all these buildings you're going to build are going to get destroyed. At least that's what, what uh, people told me. Maybe when you have level 2 you get a level 1 feudal building. But uh, we won't be feudal for 200 years I think. So that's not going to happen. Uh, we are of course the Asatru and Norse religion. And we will try to spread it around the world. Because Norse is amazing. Because you can sacrifice humans. And you get extra um, Casbellis. Because we are warmongers. And we have ancestor worship as well. And we get faith on pilgrimages. And it's a really nice faith to have, in my opinion. Especially at the start. I love the long hair in this game. They make it look so cool. Yeah, all these Norse uh, rulers have long hair. Except for uh, Jörn. <laughs> and his parent was uh, Ragnar Lodbrok himself. So... You know, the guy was who uh, was killed by uh, this dude here. But yeah, he's now in uh, Sweden. But uh, yeah, not going to focus on it. What we also need to do is try to get some uh, some alliances at the start. Because in my test runs, Sjæland, or Sjæland, actually declared war on me. And this guy <laughs> has a thousand troops. And we have only 600 at the start. So I, uh, I wonder what will happen. Yeah, this is my mother. So she is now, of course, uh, single. We can do a couple of things with her. Uh, we can get a alliance. Everyone that can get an alliance with me. Now these are only chiefdoms. We don't want to have an alliance with chiefdoms. I want an alliance with this guy. I want to ally Upland who is going to form Sweden. Now can I? Can I get a marriage? I think... If I marry my cousin... No, he does not have anyone available. Uh, hopefully he gets more daughters. Yeah, he is uh, married to uh, Russia. Yardom of Holma God. So it's not going to work here. But uh, we will see. Maybe we can uh, ally uh, Juland. I think it's called Juland. Uh, you do have a 12-year-old son. Maybe we can uh, make a girl and uh, betroth her to him. Maybe, maybe matrilineal. It's going to be really hard. What we also can do, and that's a really good tactic, is just keep her in my court. And just say, I want someone that has the highest martial points in the game. Oh, hello. Do you want to... Oh, that's not going to work. Yes, it will. Do you want to come in my court? I could use one that has uh, 30 martial skill. I could put you on the, on the martial spot here. That's also what we can do. And we don't really get, need children. Because uh, those will only become cousins. I mean half uh, brothers and sisters. And they won't get any claims. So maybe we should do this. It's a good idea to get uh, high, le high level people in our, in our court this way. But I'm not sure yet. Maybe we should uh, take a look later when maybe children are getting born. Now we can fabricate claims. But that is really stupid. We don't need to fabricate any claims at all. Because we can just declare war on anyone around us and we will and the first thing we need to do is try to take down uh, Telemark over here uh, the duchy is called the Viken and I want to control this duchy so we should really go and conquer this guy right now he has no alliances so let's just uh, declare war immediately uh, we will go to war for his county we have to pay 50 
uh, piety, which is alright. So we will just start the game immediately. Uh, who is leading the army? I am. Not really keen on that, to be honest. I don't want to die. If I die, we can start over. You know what? Let's take the risk. And before we will die. Uh, let's have a look at the realm here. We don't need to do this one yet. We do have the prestige to go to higher tribal authority. So we could uh, imprison people. Uh, yeah, maybe we should just go to level 2 immediately. What we also need to do is try to find some more champions. It's not only good to uh, get champions, but you can also get uh, good people for other positions in your council. So I'm just going to do this. We will search the Herald for 150 prestige for some uh, knights. Uh, yeah, we need a physician. I will enable these options when they are available that I get the uh, option to do them. And I think that was it for now. I will not uh, reassemble my court. I will do this when everyone is there. Uh, we do have a guest here, Bodil. Are you good at something? You're stuttering. Oh, you are not good at anything. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna invite her to my court. So not gonna do it. And then later we also need to find a court physician. And we should pick a young one so they can develop traits for later. But let's uh, pause the game and uh, try to win this war here. So it's saying that uh, we have a better commander, better traits and more soldiers. So we should win this battle. Hopefully we won't die. We wounded one of their champions, that's good. And I think we stack wiped, so that's really nice. Yeah, we only lost 41 uh, troops, he lost 445. We get some fame for it as well, which is very good. Uh, we do have someone in our uh, prison. We could ransom them, but um, he does not accept. He's an unimportant courtier. So uh, maybe we should execute them to get some dread and some uh, piety. I think I will. But I think I can also do this after the war, so let's just wait until the war is over. Uh, excessive ter tariffs, yes I know. There's our first champion. Oh, he has 16, yeah there we go, he has 16 prowess and 16 marshals, so he can become a knight and a marshal. And I think he's very cheap. We will of course get him. And you will become a champion. My marshal that I have right now is only 13. So we could uh, give this to him. But let's wait for the other champions to arrive. And then we are going to assemble everything. Uh, since we are Norse we can also raid. Uh, you can see at these uh, holdings that they have 15 loot for example. Uh, you could just raise your armies as raiders. And you can loot. And you can go everywhere. I, For example if you want to go to London... We can ro uh, loot for 26. And that's exactly what the Vikings did, right? They they uh, raided uh, in Northumbria. and You could just go here. And loot everything. In England. But there is a chance we get destroyed. So you have to watch out. And uh, hello uh, James Montgomery. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Who are you? Oh yeah, you're the Swedish army. Upland. And you are at war with... Oh yeah, Ella. The, the game starts with the revenge on the death of his father. And his father. And his father, I guess. Yes. No, not his father. Shaylan's father. Upland's father. And the Isle's father. And Jorvik's father. Those four are heirs to the, to the man who started all of this. They, they now take revenge. There's only one place to raid, the city of World Desire. Let's have a look how much loot there is, Aterno. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes, we should go here. But I don't think we have the, uh, we have the supply. <laughs> and what about Rome? Can we capture the Pope? <laughs> Capturing the Pope. 
You have to give all your money. He gets so much money. I mean, he, he is getting uh, er, he's getting everything. <laughs> he's getting 18 a month. But first we need a bigger army for that, guys. Otherwise it's not going to happen. Now, you could create men at arms regiments right now, and I will. They only cost prestige. And I know for a fact that the AI is making men at arms. Light footmen. Look, he's making light footmen. You're not making anything yet. Oh, well. The AI loves to make light footmen. So what is good against light footmen? You are a skirmisher. Bowmen are good against skirmishes, so we are going to make bowmen to counter their light footmen. And have an advantage. You will be rich if you lose both of these. Yes, but uh, they will destroy the raiding army, of course. We need to... Uh, first we need to start conquering. Need to form our duchy. Uh, what about you? You're also making light footmen. Yeah, he has uh, three holdings in Uplond. And I really want an alliance. It's it's very important that we get alliances. Uh, let's see. Can I do something with you? What if I marry my... Oh. You have you have nothing available? I thought you had children. Yeah, here. Arrange marriage. With my mother. Will not accept. Marrying down in age considerations. <laughs> Yes, she is 37. <laughs> and he is 12. I think we need some daughters. Yeah, the AI almost built skirmishes and bowmen only. Yeah, not everywhere, but uh, they do it a lot, so. Let's start building on our own bowmen then. Now, come on, siege it down. We should start doing some raiding, I guess. Or just conquer immediately. It's very important that we grow. Or we get destroyed. And we need babies. Ah! We got another... Uh, we captured uh, Bo. His son Bo. We should uh, ransom him. Only 10. Now, I still think I have to uh, do this. Can you reform religion in this game? Yes, you can make your own religion. Absolutely. Now, we'll uh, ransom you then. But I guess he still don't want this one back. No, we will kill him. It's good for our uh, Norse religion. He is a criminal. To Odin. And we still have the war score. We will enforce our demands and... Take this for ourselves, so now we have 3 out of 3. Uh, if you go 4 out of 3, you get a penalty of 20%. So it is still worthwhile to go 1 over. Then you still make more than you would with 3. Uh, but we don't have any control here, so we need to use our... Uh, increase control in... County. Oh yeah, we can't do it after one day. Unless the game is confused. There we go. Yeah, yeah, but he will not be our player. So we will disband our army. And I think we should start raiding a bit. Maybe we should raid over here. Now he has 600 troops. That is very scary. Uh, Vermlaland. Man, they have so many troops. It's crazy. <laughs> to Odin. I hope it was the right god. <laughs> I actually don't remember. <laughs> Why do they have so many troops around me? It's so unfair. What about you? Now you are... You are on your own. No. He owns these three himself. And... Two titles. Huh. But I still think we should raid a bit. Your wife has a good chance of starting with the trade chased. Does she have it? No. She is uh, temperate, zealous and calm. And she is a thifty clerk. 
Uh, we could also get some concubines, but we have no one. We have no woman in our court that we could take as our second, third, and fourth wife. And I want some babies. I really want some babies. Um, if you want to be called after a baby, just write uh, hashtag name. And I will pick people from the draw there. And you will become my child. You can have a very short life. But you can also be very glorious. So <laughs> There are some uh, some things that can happen. Maybe you will. Maybe I will put you in the dungeon. But uh, we will see. Uh, you are sadistic, ruffle, diligent. You can become a very good... Uh, very good knight. Also gonna uh, get you in. Gonna force you as my champion because that is your only thing you are you need to do. And actually, yeah, my uncle. Gonna keep him as well. My spy master. My other uncle. My cousin and steward should never become a uh, knight and you also not because you're gonna die 10 or higher is my limit and if it's not otherwise you do 8 or 7 but that's really the lowest number you want now let's see how quickly we can recover how much yeah I don't know if this number is correct I, I heard that this number is sometimes wrong but uh, we will see we can make 3 out of uh, the 5 different men at arms we will get an extra when we become a duke I think um, of course, these are the cheapest ones, but I guess light horsemen are really good as well, especially for uh, pursuing an army, so we can kill more. And the maintenance is 0.2 when we are at peace and 0.6 when they are at maintenance. I think I'm going to also get this one. Now we, we do not get any prestige now because we are reinforcing these two, but when we turn this off, we make still 0.8. And we will conquer so much land that we will get so much prestige from it. So we can really uh, spend the prestige. It's a good way to uh, make sure you have a strong army. So yeah, this is the last province of our duchy that I want. And it's part of uh, this guy here. He is uh, pretty strong. He has no allies though. Also Bjorn here has no allies. I want an alliance with you! Please, make more children. No, he's not, not going to make... Oh, <gasps> yes. Children. I need also more children. Uh, let's uh, do some uh, seducing uh, things with my wife here. Boom. Let's layer. Good idea, right? Um, we don't have any hostile schemes and we don't need that, so... We'll just uh, romance and seduce our wife. We need more children. Right now. Very important. How long is it going to take? 14 months. Yikes. You still have 600 troops. He's making the light footman. We could just conquer him right now instead of uh, raiding. Uh, let's let's raid him first. Let's uh, let's go after him. Uh, let's do this. Raise all his raiders. And go after him. Uh, let's get my other champion leading the army. I don't want to die. Yeah, there's a perk that allows alliances with mar without marriages. Yes, I know. Let's raid. We need more money. You do get a truce of five months, but that's fine. Something unusual. This is my wife. Anyone can buy a token of affection, big or small. If I want to impress Chief Des Rugen Hild, I should send her something truly special. Uh, she likes knowledge. Symbol of my stature. I think she already cares. Yeah, I think she already cares of me. What do we have here? Oh yeah, we can do these things. Let's have a look soon. Thank you so much that for the seashell you give me. Yay! Team success chance, but it was already 95%, so... Cannot be higher than 95. 
Oh, he's attacking me. He's coming. But... I will siege... No, I will not siege this province. So I will... Uh... He will get a, a bonus. Uh, yeah, he, he's getting a small bonus because of the uh, combat terrain. But it's kind of even, and my arches are making his light footmen very bad. And my arches are fighting in favorable terrain. So I really think we are going to win. Hopefully don't uh, get our knights killed. We have another knight coming. He is uh, 15 prowess. Yes. There you go. And you guys are going to be the knights that should take the lead. And then we have three spares. There we go. And we should also get our court physician. So let's find someone with uh, good learning. Do we have someone with uh, physician skills already? Yes, you do have uh, the novice physician skill. That's the only one. You are 15 learning. Uh, we do have one with 19. That's my uncle, but he is a sadistic guy. So maybe we should not put him there. I think I'm going to give uh, this guy my, uh, the court physician thing. There you go. He's not too old, and he will maybe develop some more traits. The court physician. Now we can do our council. I could give my uncle... Uh, this spot here, but he's already my chancellor. Do we have some better? We do have a champion that, is have, that has uh, 10. We could give the spot to him. Uh, we do have two 15 mar marshal guys. I, I guess I'm going to give this one to this marshal. I am going to get... Who is my best, best spy master? My cousin and steward. He's also my best stewardship guy, so I guess I'm going to keep him at, on the stewardship spot. guess I'm going to make my uncle a spy master. He is, uh... Yeah, but he is also good at this. Ugh, I need to make choices now. Gonna put you there. You're gonna stay there. My uncle will become my learning guy and my spy master. Yeah, eight or nine doesn't really matter, right? Paranoid, lazy, and callous. Let's keep him just like, like now for now. That's fine. Yeah, he endorses me, but we don't have any churches, so we don't get any money from it. There we go, we won the battle. Uh, let's raid this one as well. It's also, oh, there's no loot here. Interesting. Is there any loot here? Yeah, it's pretty far away. You know what, let's just return for now. And I guess we have to fight a war somewhere. You cannot disband them. Oh, oh no! I can. There we go. As you're organizing in the court during a battle, yes, we need to do everything at the same time. Otherwise, we will die. Uh, do we want to do these things? They are not too expensive. Hmm. I'm going on a pilgrimage. I think I want to first uh, form my duchy. I think it's more important than I can marry off uh, my people better. Because they are marrying in a higher tier. Where are my children? Why am I not getting any children? That's weird. And if it's councils around shopping doesn't give you the opinion, Mollus. Oh yeah. Oh well. They will still be pretty happy anyway, so that's... Uh, something right do i want to go to war with this guy man he is so strong we have a truce now with this guy for three months maybe we should just go 
and attack him after three months. Yeah, I think I will. 1200 troops, you have 1300. No alliances, and you have a new child, a son. It will be really nice to get a daughter now. Really, really, really nice. A Redding in Tunsborg. Oh yeah, this is just my uh, seducing try on my wife. We don't have to uh, get anything more points, so we just pick the one that... We have to pick one. Religion, informative... No, she's not very much religion-wise. Entertaining... Uh... She's a very calm person, I don't know what she wants. You changed the outfit of your character. <laughs> yeah, we should <laughs> we should give him a crown already. I'm king of Norway. Oh no, not yet. Yes, guys, we finally have a child coming. Oh, she's only 18 years old, so... I cannot blame it. The king of Norway is Nisifro, yes. Nisifro is the king of Norway. Uh, let's see... Oh, this is again this thing. Same event. Thanks, Wilhelm. If you want to be named as the child, just write uh, hashtag name in the chat and you will uh, get into a uh, poll. We'll pick names from it. A sudden shock. I have ridden, taken aim and struck so many times I thought nothing could upset my rhythm. As I take yet another gallop down the practice range, a com... Commotion I cannot fully see makes my horse rear up. For instance, momentum keeps me pinned to the back of the horse as it starts shaking. Then, if time is slowing slow, I can feel myself becoming dislodged. Calm down, boy, calm down. You can become wounded or get points. I die for stable ground. Better safe than sorry. Calm down, boy. And we are wounded. Look, we have a scar. Oh no, not anymore. We were just wounded for a very short time. Uh, what is this? Another event. But this is still... The same event. I don't know what's happening. We are going to seduce our wife. There's a raiding army in the north. Okay, the truce is gone with this guy. He still has no alliances. We are going to declare war. Take his county of... Uh, Nedenis, or Nedenis, or whatever. We cannot go for the whole duchy yet, because we don't have level 3 over here. We need to be illustrious, and we are just established. So, we can only go to war for the county. We could also raid for captives that we can slaughter. For some piety, but let's just uh, keep growing. Raise the armies. Go. No, we are not going to lead our armies on our own. My beloved wife. Yes, we are going to seduce our wife. There we go, guys. She becomes our lover. And we are going to lay with her, so we get more children. Now, you can also do the Romans scheme. Let's do the Romans scheme. We have 100% chance to, uh, to succeed, so... You get tons of prestige when you do this, do that, especially when you uh, seduce a king of big empires. You get even more prestige. Which is so much fun, right? <laughs> it's so much fun. Uh, oh well. Uh, yeah, we should actually... Wait, where's my mother? My mother married someone on her own! No! I wanted, I wanted to marry her to get a good guy in my court, but she married on her own. I demand you to... Let's murder him. Yeah. Well... Yeah, he has no power. Let's murder him. Mother... Eight years? 
Really? No, no, no. Yes, it's eight years. There's only 10%. Okay, never mind. Oh, mother, why did you do that? Ah, so we are gonna do the Romans thing with our wife. Uh, we can sing a love ballad. We can do a love poem. Or we can do by winning a sparring, a sparring match. So, what does she like? What would she like? Would she uh, get impressed by winning a uh, sparring match? I don't think so. Go with my gut in the moment. Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> the candle is burning low when I finally finish my poem. Oh, so poem was it was. Before I send it, I give it one last read. Your white hips are the life-giving sun of my world. I would be blessed if I could be by your side, that I may know the depths of your love. Stop resisting, you will be mine. <laughs> the waiting is unbearable. The thought of rejection makes me sick to my stomach. When her reply arrives, I tear the seal with shaking hands. While I cannot encourage you, my liege, I am most grateful for your kind words. She won't resist my charms for long. Uh -huh. She likes me 100%, I know. Uh, are we gonna win? We are. We ripped up the, ha the half of someone else. He became a, bur a berserker. What is a berserker trait? I want to know. Ah, they get more prowess. Fantastic. And plus two Marshall. And we win. We captured someone. He is not important to him, so we are gonna tear his head off for the gods. Need to please the gods, right? <laughs> 